The iPhone SE has exactly the same design and display as the iPhone 8 from 2017. Although the flagship iPhone range has moved to an all-screen design, the iPhone SE is the exception. It's a very well-made handset with the same glass and aluminum design of the iPhone 8. There are three color options for the iPhone SE, black, white and product red. It also has IP67 water resistance. The phone have a 4.7 inch LCD screen, the screen is bright and colorful. You won't have any issues viewing the screen outdoors when surfing the web or taking photos. The panel also supports the true tone which means it can automatically adjust the screen's color temperature based on the ambient lighting conditions. While Android phone makers outfit their budget phones with weaker processors, the iPhone SE packs the same state-of-the-art A13 Bionic chip as the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. This means you will enjoy the same fast and responsive performance. The new iPhone SE also has 3GB of RAM. Like the iPhone 8, the iPhone SE features a single 12MP rear camera and a 7MP front camera. You don't get an ultra-wide angle lens like the iPhone 11 or a telephoto lens with optical zoom like the iPhone 11 Pro. But the A13 Bionic chip boosts the camera performance of the iPhone SE in several ways. The camera is so good that it's hard to tell the difference between it and the iPhone 11 in many cases. You will be surprised by the level of detail taken with the iPhone SE. You can record 4K video at 30fps and capture 240fps video at 1080p resolution. The iPhone SE is rated for less battery life than the iPhone 11 so you shouldn't expect longer battery life. It comes with a 1821mAh battery with 18W fast charge support. The Galaxy A71 brings an excellent amount of upgrades over its predecessor. This device is a pleasure to hold and use. The display is a 6.7 inch AMOLED panel. The display is beautiful as well. All the AMOLED awesomeness is present such as vivid colors with the option to switch to a more natural look, deep blacks, wide viewing angles and excellent brightness levels. Thanks to the Infinity O screen the bezels have been reduced and the punch hole for the front camera looks better than the U-shaped camera cutout we saw on the Galaxy A70's display. The A71 is sleek and light, there's a plastic on the back but the phone feels premium while not being slippery as a phone with a glass back. The in-display optical fingerprint sensor has been improved as well. It's much quicker and more accurate than last year, even more so than the theoretically superior ultrasonic in-display sensor on Samsung's flagships. Naturally facial recognition is supported and it works well most of the time. It is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 8nm chipset coupled with 6 or 8GB of RAM depending on the variant you buy. Performance in day-to-day -day use is excellent, there's barely any stutter or lag and all of the graphically intensive gaming titles run well. This phone have quad camera setup. The Galaxy A71 64MP primary camera takes 16MP photos using pixel binning and when the lighting is right you get really beautiful pictures. There's a lot of detail in daylight shots and good dynamic range. Color reproduction is also faithful to real life in most cases. Nighttime shots come out noisy or grainy, although the dedicated night mode tends to focus on increasing the detail in dark objects rather than controlling noise levels. The 12 megapixel ultra wide camera takes better photos than the A70 was capable of, at least in terms of the detail captured. The A71 also has a 5 megapixel macro camera, which is a great addition to this setup, and the last one is 5 megapixel depth sensor. You can record 4K video at 30fps and 1080p super slow-mo video at 960fps. On the front there is a single 32MP camera for selfies which delivers great picture quality. It is powered by a 4500mAh battery with 25W fast charging support. It has impressive battery life and can get you up to 2 days on a single charge with light uses on Wi-Fi and a little mobile data. And a full day if you are a heavy user who tends to play games, watch YouTube videos and do other power intensive things on their phone. If you travel a lot, the A71 has excellent endurance even when used as a hotspot. The OnePlus Nord have a great overall design. You get the same premium build and finish as on the flagship OnePlus 8 series with a metal frame sandwiched between Gorilla Glass on the front and rear. It's a premium feeling device in the hand and it's similar size to the OnePlus 8, meaning the OnePlus Nord can be used one-handed. There's no headphone jack on this device. 
The OnePlus Nord has a 6.44 inch AMOLED display with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio and 90 Hz refresh rate for fluid scrolling performance. The display is bright and clear and saturated with bright vibrant colors. The Nord also supports face unlock and it can combine both biometric security features for faster unlocking. Under the hood, Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset sits at the heart of the OnePlus Nord, which is a great chipset for overall performance. You won't notice any lag or stutter while playing power intensive games or surfing through internet. When it comes to RAM and storage, you have two options. The phone is available in 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage and 12GB of RAM or 256GB of storage configurations. The OnePlus Nord comes with 5G support, which means you can take advantage of next generation network speeds when they become available in your area. The headline feature of the OnePlus Nord is its flagship camera setup. There are a total of 6 cameras on the handset, 4 on the rear and 2 on the front. The main camera on the rear is indeed borrowed from the OnePlus 8. It's a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor with image stabilization technology that's accompanied by a trio of other cameras comprising a 5 megapixel depth sensor, 2 megapixel macro camera and an 8 megapixel 119 degree ultra wide angle snapper for landscape shots. There's a bunch of shooting modes too, including portrait, nightscape, super macro and pro, plus full HD slow motion video capture at 240fps and 4K recording at 30fps. On the front, the main 32 megapixel snapper is accompanied by an 8 megapixel 105 degree ultra wide camera, which should come in useful when it comes to taking group selfies. As for the battery, the OnePlus Nord comes with a 4115 mAh power pack with the support for Warp Charge 30 we should get you from 0 to 70% in only 30 minutes. The Xiaomi Poco F2 Pro brings back the pop-up front-facing camera, which we haven't seen much of in 2020 compared to 2019. This ensures the 6.67-inch AMOLED screen isn't broken up by any notches. Poco F2 Pro features an almost completely bezel-less display, with the company coating an 87.2% screen-to-body ratio. It offers 180Hz touch sampling for better gaming. The display does deliver HDR10 Plus support. The chipset in here is the Snapdragon 865 paired with 6 or 8 GB of RAM depending on the variation. This is the top end processor available to Android phones at this time and that should ensure great processing speeds. You will have no trouble playing games in this device. The Poco F2 Pro is also a 5G phone. Poco F2 Pro is made for the gaming enthusiasts in mind. With a massive cooling system, a large multi-layer graphite, and 9 built-in temperature sensors, it intelligently predicts and controls its internal temperature, ensuring sustained peak performance even when you are playing games for long hours. There are 4 rear cameras on the phone consisting of a 64MP main, 5MP telephoto, 13MP ultra-wide and 2MP macro snapper. But there are a few camera features that might impress including 8K video recording and a macro shooting mode on the telephoto lens as well as the dedicated macro lens. It can record 8K video at 30fps and 960fps super slow-mo video at 1080p resolution. It sports a motorized pop-up 20MP selfie camera on the front. The Poco F2 Pro features a 4700mAh battery with 30W fast charging support that charges the phone fully in just 63 minutes. First of all, the A51 5G is light, really light. Samsung has always done a good job of building featherweight phones that still feel well made, and the A51 5G is proof of that. Its 6.5 inch display is nearly 2 inches larger than the 4.7 inch panel inside the Apple's new iPhone SE. The A51 5G's display is flat, which is actually a breath of fresh air from the carved panels in every modern premium handset. It's hard to put my finger on, but a flat screen simply feels simpler to use and easier to live with. The A51 5G is attractive with its upper slim bezels and a display that perfectly follows the silhouette of the body. But it gets better, the A51 has a headphone jack. One of the best thing about the last year's Galaxy A50 was its AMOLED display, which is a luxury typically reserved for more premium devices. Rather than use a rear-mounted fingerprint sensor, the A51 5G comes with an in-display optical scanner that works well most of the time. Rather than using one of Qualcomm's mid-range 600 or 700 series chipset, the Galaxy A51 5G 
derives its power from Samsung's own Exynos 980 CPU. It is supported by 6 or 8 GB of RAM depending on the variant. The Exynos 980 is an 8nm processor. The A51 5G excels at games. For a budget handset anyway, you can play most of the popular games without any problem. You might expect one or two cameras from this phone, but the Galaxy A51 5G has four on the back. A 48 megapixel wide angle primary shooter supported by 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel depth, and 5 megapixel macro optics. A 32 megapixel sensor serves selfie duties on the front. That's a whole lot of megapixels, and when conditions are favorable, the A51 5G can pull in a lot of detail. We like the A51 5G's depth effects. That ultra wide shooter shines when the sun is out. There is a surprising level of detail overall in Samsung's shot and good dynamic range as you move from the shadows to daylight. So what about the night shots? Well you would think the A51 5G would be better equipped for such scenarios because it has a night mode, something Apple's cheapest iPhone lacks. As we discovered it's not very useful, in complete darkness the shot it captures are totally unacceptable. You can record 4K video at 30fps. Pictures taken with selfie camera delivers a stunning quality with great color accuracy and dynamic range. Samsung has used 4500 mAh battery into the Galaxy A51 5G. That big battery plus the A51's hardware being optimized more for efficiency than all-out power should guarantee exceptional battery life. This device also supports 15W fast charging.